The hills have eyes and the chickens have thighs. Welcome to Second Exodus Feast. Take a look at this. This is from the Hill People. The Hill People Gear, based out of Colorado. And they know about hills in Colorado. I was there for seven months ago, and it's hilly, beautiful, and foresty. The Hill People. Let's get into it. Skills first, gear second, second exodus. All right, let's bring out the pack you've been waiting for. This is 500 denier construction. This is called a Tower Hamar pack. It's named after the people of northern Mexico. Shout out to Mexico. They're known for the running. They have running prowess that's kind of like, like a marathon runner. Like marathon, but a lot faster. All right, here we go. Let's jump into the harness real quick. The harness is an upside down horseshoe. And take a look at this right here. Wide padding to carry your loads. This bag is designed to carry 50 loads, 50 pounds. With 32 ounce water bottles on each side, you can definitely help some water. You definitely got the load lifters that are built in. This is on a, kind of like a stabilizer. So the actual uh, harness uh, for your shoulders, the shoulder harness is right here. Low lifters right here. You pull up instead of down. You pull up and it gets you. It gets it going. You want. You don't want to have this hanging really low. You don't want it too high. You want it just right. And this bag does that. It has a little thing right here to uh, hook stuff on if you want. The handle's very very minimal. It does a job. It's just. It's just. It's just the material right here, and you grab it and go. And you have three little tabs right here where you can run some uh, a shock cord through if you want. Let's look at the front. If you like the mystery lanch with the, the V, this, they did it a lot simpler. Just one open. There is no zipper. Uh, there's no zipper clip on the zipper. It's actually some uh, paracord. Open it up. Let's take a look inside. It's just one cavern. Like I said, 16 ounces. 16 liters. Excuse me. 16 liters. You put your stuff in there. It's very simple. Cut to the point. With that 500 denier construction, it's really nice. Minimal branding. Let's take a look at the minimal branding. Hill people. Remember that. All right. Also, this is a good one. Made in America. Made in the good old United, let's see, am I right? In the United States of America. Good old USA. Everything made in America is really good. Really takes time. Americans, if you're from other countries, Americans take pride in building stuff. It is a shame that uh, a lot of the corporations have to ship stuff to China to build, and it's not really good. Crap. Everything in America is 100%, and I'm thankful to support an American company. And uh, I definitely hope the Hill people have much success. Here's some more information right underneath the Made in America. They have the harness information. Now, with the water bladder, you stick it back here. You stick the water bladder back here. Now, the padding is on the outside of the pocket. It's, the pocket is the padding. The padding in the pocket, the pocket's the padding. You stick the water bladder in there. Boom. It's really simple, cut to the point. Again, the harness system, it's really comfortable. I tried it on, it's really, 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 really comfortable. What's nice about this um, sternum strap, okay, the buckles are really good quality, really hard. Now, instead of the sternum strap going just one way, it goes two ways. So it fits right in the middle um, of your chest, right between um, you know, your chest, where you have your uh, the middle part of your chest. Okay, I forgot the name of that part right now. Um, anyway, you got shot cord on the bottom. With the shot cord on the bottom, you could uh, throw a bedroll, you could throw some sandals, uh, you could throw anything on here, and it cinches up, simple buckles, cinches up, up and down. That's it. The color is elk brown. A lot of us like coyote tan, coyote brown, blah, blah, blah. We're representing hill people. Elk brown. Now, there's a lot of people that are just all they into is tactical gear, tactical snobs, so to speak. You know what? We gotta expand our horizons, folks. Hill people have made this where it's basically, I don't know if you wanna say civilian meets tactical, but it's fantastic. I'm leaning more towards this kind of gear. Um, yeah, I think it's phenomenal. With the padding, which is, it's, it's, it, there's padding here. It's not super thick, but it's thick enough. You only carry 50 pounds of the max capacity. It's wide. It's not sharp and small where it's going to cut into your shoulders. It's nice and wide where it sits on your shoulders. Fantastic, fantastic design. Um, yeah, sternum strap is good. You got the adjustments right here. They go up and down um, to get your shoulder and your pack length good. They got key strap keepers right here. You can utilize your strap keepers, which is very key. 
Again, the uh, low lifters, stellar. Handle, stellar. Color is stellar. If you like Coyote Brown, which I'm, I'm, I'm loving this color. I'm loving this color. Heal people gear. Tar Hamar pack. I'm gonna, this is gonna replace like uh, my Camelback. I'm gonna use this. And um, utilize this. Run in and short hikes. Yes, this is a good pack. If you wanna test it out, you can stick, like I said, 16 liters, man. That's pretty good. And then, what, we've, what we're not mentioning, which we're gonna mention right now, it has straps on the outside, which you can stick some snow, snowshoes. You can stick uh, anything on the outside. You can stick a bigger jacket if you want. You can stick a tripod and have the tripod go through into the pocket right in one of your water bottle pockets. Um, you can cinch it down, whatever you hold on your back. So it actually expands the capacity of this pack. This is a great pack. It's a great company. Uh, let me review if there's anything else I need to tell you guys about this pack here. Um, no, it's comfortable. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a great design. It's a great design, a fantastic. It, and, uh, it fits uh, it fit it fits those uh, needs when you're on a running gun mission. You just want to go out. Maybe you want to hike. Maybe you want to get some exercise. I suggest you do that. Get that blood flowing. Get the circulation going. But again, hill people gear. What more can I say? The hills have eyes and the chickens have thighs. All right, we're gonna wrap this up. Um, skills first, gear second. Oh, the name is Second Exodus. And you want all the greatest gear reviews? Please make sure you like, subscribe, and drop a nice comment. You could uh, hit the like button once. You can hit the dislike button twice. Um, either way, it's golden. And I want to say uh, skills first, gear second, and you guys have a good one.